off my glasses I'm gonna be blind but it's okay because you can't see my eyes behind my glasses okay so today I am going to be doing another summer look okay I had a little bit too much coffee I kind of need to tone it down a bit okay hi so today I'm gonna be doing another summer look by the way if you haven't noticed I am like back to 100% I feel great I'm not sick anymore praise God Oh, I was sick all week. I could not even take it anymore. For those of you who have watched my previous video, you would know that being sick is one of my greatest fears because I don't have time to be sick. So I just put my hair back and now I look like disgusting. But it's okay because I'm going to look good after this. So it doesn't matter what I look like underneath because what matters is that there is makeup. So first things first, I'm going to start off with a very clean face. Um, ew, sorry, I still have a little bit of sniffle. That's disgusting. For my primer, I'm using this Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. I love it. I love it, love it. It's really, really well if you have oily skin, which I do. Do you see how good that is? Oh my gosh, if only you could feel my face. I think first thing I'm going to do is use foundation because I look really um, uneven. I've been out in the sun a lot, so my skin tone is not that great right now. I'm using my Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. Just a really, really little bit. Like, you really do not need a lot. This is a very full coverage foundation. A little dot can cover up your whole face and more. Okie dokie, so I have my foundation on, but I want to go ahead and buff it in even more. So I'm taking my MAC sponge that I use all the time, and I'm just buffing this into my skin for a very smooth finish. Let's go ahead and conceal those eyes. And I'm taking my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer in the color, what color is this? Medium 26. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and take some on your finger. Place it underneath your eyes. And then right away I'm going to buff that in. I am taking my Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Finisher and I'm going to add some of that product onto my um, sponge and set this. Because I've noticed that lately my concealer has been creasing and so I did a little bit of research and I found that when you set it immediately that will help with the creasing so if you take too long to set it that's what makes it crease. So setting this eye and then I'm going to move on to my next eye. Boom. I look flawless. I'm going to take my Revlon Photo Ready in the color Light Medium, and I love these Revlon Photo Ready um, powder packet thingies. Um, I have one in Light Medium, Medium Deep, and then my Translucent Powder. I don't know, I really like these. They're like super, super good quality, and they're really cheap. So I'm just going to kind of set the rest of my face just a little bit. Perfect. So I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Express, and this is, I think this is soft brown. I don't know what color this is because I've used it so much for so many years that everything is wearing out. So I'm taking a soft brown color. I don't even want to show this color on camera because it's disgusting. I need a new one immediately, but I'm broke. So, so I'm filling them in. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm going to take the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Chocolate. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eyebrow. Okay, so I have my brows on. The next thing I wanna do is set my eyes with an all over color. I'm going to use my Milk Cosmetics Dark Matter Stack. I kid you not, you could use so many looks with this one little stack. It, I'm sorry, I use it in like every single video. They should be restocking this month. Um, go and get it, it's worth it. So Milk Cosmetics, the color Blur. This eye color is very similar to your skin tone. So next I want to highlight my brow bone and I'm going to take my Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter in the color Matte Beige. Okay, so it's going to look a little bit like this. So after I've highlighted, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. And I'm using just a Sephora flat brush. I love this Milani highlighter. It's just a drugstore brand, and I found it last week, and I've been loving it ever since. So I'm taking my Naked Urban Decay, and I'm going to be taking this color Virgin, and only on the highest points of your brow. Just like that. Okay, so after I've highlighted, I'm going to go back in with my Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter Stack, and I'm going to be taking the color Unseen. It's like a really burnt orange color. I would like it to be brighter, but it's all I have for now. So I'm going to go ahead and pack that onto a MAC 2 217. And I'm going to focus mainly on the outer corner of my eye. So now I'm just taking a blending brush and blending this out just a little bit. So I want to add tones of pink to this look by Urban Decay and I'm going to be taking this color. It's called Toasted. And then I want to just go in right underneath. I'm going to take a dark brown and put it right in my outer crease just to intensify it a little bit more. And then I think in order to give it that pop, I'm going to add just a smidge of black. Go back in with that color blur and pack it onto my brush. With my MAC Pigment, and this is the color Lith, I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime 24 Extended Eye Base and just take a little bit on your fingers. You want to wait till that dries a little bit and gets a little bit sticky. And just with your finger, you really do not need any brushes for this because it's just very, very pigmented. You do not want to get a lot out. To take a clean fluffy brush and kind of blend this together. We are going to take this um, dark brown and kind of run it underneath your eyes. going to use this Milani Brow Highlighter, the one that we used for our brows.
So today I decided to flick my wing up to the heavens. Can you hear me, Jesus? <laughs> I probably should not play around with that. Oh, God. Just kidding. Do I really need to put on lashes? Oh, I hate putting on lashes. I hate it. Okay, I have my lashes on, whatever. I'm over it. I'm using Red Cherry number 62. So this is what I have right now. And now it's time for that summer pop of color. I'm going to be using my MAC um, Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. This color is called More To Love. Okay, so I went ahead and added some Mare lipstick with my NYX Cosmetics Translucent Powder and I'll go ahead and list them below so that you know what I'm talking about. So my Kat Von D Locket Touch, and this is like a really dark, like a bronzy shade. And to add some blush, I'm going to be using my NYX Pinky. Yes, yes. So this completes my look. I hope you've enjoyed watching and stay tuned for my next video. Listen to the way you say you wanna get so high